Hi everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome back to Cloud Mom. Week 21 of your pregnancy, of my pregnancy, let's talk about some of the things that are going on during week 21. At week 21, your baby weighs about 11.5 ounces and is 10.5 inches long, about the size of a pomegranate. Your baby's getting lots and lots of rest in anticipation of the big day, sleeping up to 14 hours a day. Wow. Measurements of your baby change this week from crown to rump to crown to foot, meaning that you will be able to get a much more accurate fetal measurement of the size of your baby this week. Muscle and bone growth mean that your baby might be kicking a lot more strongly than before. I still haven't been feeling a lot of kicks, by the way, so don't worry if you haven't either. If you're really concerned, see what your doctor has to say, but this to me in my prior five pregnancies was totally normal. Using the liver and the spleen, your baby's bone marrow has started to produce very important red blood cells. Let's talk quickly about diet. I have this sort of standard thing I say with every week and it's really important. You have to keep reminding yourself to try to get these essential nutrients and vitamins. And I'm trying to provide like a dietary tip with every week, which has some really important nutrients. So check those out if you're following my series. But here are the general rules. I'm gonna go through them again. No alcohol, no soft cheese, no raw fish, no sushi. Eat a diet that's rich in omega-3s. Make sure your prenatal vitamin has enough omega-3s. You also wanna get folic acid. Salads are great for that. Calcium, iodine protein, vitamin D, lots of milk, cheese, and vitamin B12. And another word on folic acid, this is a very essential pregnancy vitamin that helps your baby's neural tube. To get enough folic acid, you wanna aim for foods that are high in folate, such as asparagus, eggs, leafy greens, legumes, and beets. So I hope you're eating all of those things. Let's talk a little bit about what some of your symptoms might look like at week 21 you might be experiencing much stronger nails and feel that your nails are growing a lot longer. That has been happening to me. I'm not used to cutting my nails so frequently and I have been cutting them quite a bit. This is happening because more oxygen and nutrients are making their way to your nails. Leg veins. Here are some other tips when it comes to leg veins. And by the way, in addition to the varicose, these can become spider veins. They are very easy to treat after pregnancy and nursing. They really are. You have to get them injected. It's painful. Hopefully you can get a doctor to do it on your insurance, but they really, you know, I do think people have a lot of success getting rid of these veins, so please don't worry about it too much. I've had horrible veins through all my pregnancies and I was able to get them cleaned up afterwards, so don't worry about it, okay? So anyway, things you can do. Sleep on your left side. Buy loose clothing. Change your position a lot. Don't just like sit there in a static way all day. Move around a lot. Try to gain weight gradually. Opt for flats and not heels. Um, recline and elevate your legs. Decrease your salt intake. Drink plenty of water. Exercise. Eat lots of fiber. And do not cross your legs. Okay, the most exciting thing about this week, I actually had my week 20 prenatal appointment yesterday. I'm just now week 21. It's really, really amazing, you know, the detail with which they can see the baby. They try to get the baby to move around and to see him or her at all different angles. They look at the spine, they look at the liver, they look at the brain, they look at the heart, the hands, the feet, and then you might be so lucky as to be able to have, in addition, some 3D pictures of the baby, which look kind of funny, but they're really, really miraculous and again all this technology is way beyond anything that was available in 2010 when i had my baby girl mariel the cloud mom baby who's now almost turning 10. oh and the week 21 belly here i am in terms of a checklist for week 21 keep up with your exercise routine try a prenatal yoga or a pilates class Continue writing in your pregnancy journal. This will be really fun for your baby. You'll be like, you know, when you were 21 weeks old, I went out and had a great dinner. You know, just the way you might tell your kid later about vacations that they'll never remember because they were six, you know, months old. You can do this with your pregnancy journal. It could be really fun for your baby. Research and consider taking a glucose test. And I'll be getting into that in more detail in subsequent weeks. Go on a date with your partner. 
Things are going to change. It's going to be really hard to get out of the house and you're going to be really busy with a new baby. So take time for each other. Thank you so much for dialing in and I will see you guys next week for week 22. Thank you.